All right, and we are live. We got uh, SRG versus CSS. Uh, some random guys versus. Uh, let me go look at the names real quick again. So CSS stands for the three clans that are part of the coalition: Combat Reality, Squad Union, and Soldar of Fortune or Fortunana. Fortunana. Oh, I can't read. But I thought it was interesting. Let you guys know as well. And we'll get in here, we'll get our caster overlay set up, and then we should be good to get going. Uh, it doesn't matter after 10, can't direct chat, squad 10 and 11. Unfortunately, I don't speak Russian, so uh, if you guys do, and uh, want to tell me what they're saying, that's cool. If not, I will leave squadly chat on, so uh, they can listen to it later. Alright, um, So, believe team 1 should be the US side. Uh, so it's gonna be so TSS versus uh, SRG. Did I get that right? Uh, they're MEA. I got it backwards. Cool. Sorry guys, a little out of it. So that's gonna be CSS, that's gonna be SRG. Alright, got it? Figured it out this time, cool. Uh, tabby tab. SRG logo. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Alright, SRG, okay. CSS. Проверь метку, я правильно покинул свои фобы? Там, чтобы не было 400 метров. Alright, got it. Cool. Okay, figured it out. Грамматика правильно, да? Let's see if we got any move marks to kind of see where we're going here. Looks like we're gonna have CS CSS push to radio station, kind of a passive push. Uh, MEA sh should be able to get radio station a lot quicker with those Samirs, but I'm not sure if they're gonna use them. Uh, standard rush straight up to Upper Orchard, back up Hab to the southwest of it, probably for mortars. And if the US managed to get into Fortis up here, they're gonna be able to push pretty easily into the e on the east side of Upper Orchard. Um, likewise, if the MEA is able to hold off a radio station, it's going to cause a lot of delays for him. Alright, we're live in a minute. CSS still discussing their, their strats. Uh, all vehicles being used for both teams. Not leaving anything behind, even bringing out the MCLB. And a huge advantage here I'm going to see is the US does get a striker versus the MTLB for the uh, MEA. MEA uh, the MTLB can be tracked, it's a lot slower, it can't get into as many positions, and that striker 50 cal is able to hold in a lot of different walls, um, no notably around Fortis, and able to up uh, hold the uh, north side of Upper Orchard and the south side pretty easy. So striker definitely has the advantage here, but MEA does get the the better or the hat kit. Uh, so uh, did did any of the CSS guys actually bring out the hat? We got one hat. Uh, CSS looks like they're bringing out one hat. I think the MEA gets two. I could be wrong. And let's follow the speedy boys. Samir's going out solo. With the Cornet Samir. I'm assuming that they're all heading to radio station if I had to guess. That Samir may be going to the north side. Oh. Interesting. I don't know if that was intentional. I'm interested to see where the Samir's going to see if that was an intentional 
to get on the other side of the wall, or it was an accident. Looks like it may have been an accident, and we're getting the flip. <laughs> Poor guys, alright. Next smear, rushing up to radio station. Looking at the macro on the map, pretty standard roll up for the US side, nothing crazy. Striker coming to radio with MRAP and uh, Logi. Uh, and they're going to be engaging one striker, or one uh, Samir, with only four or five guys in it, as opposed to two. And they're dismounting early. So the uh, MEA is not going to be able to stop the US rush on a, a radio station. U.S. forces aren't going to be able to stop NBA in Upper Orchard, and you're going to have a, a slugfest in the middle of the map. <coughs> All right, MRF's coming through here. Let's, he's being one man, probably just going for rallies. Gets hit by the hat, caught on fire. Jumps out and gets killed before he has, has a shot. One MRF down. MEA getting down three Habs. U.S. Forces has two down at the moment. Looks like they're getting a third up at radio station itself. <laughs> Only person dead so far has been a suicide. Uh, SRG getting a pretty good north to south line working on radio station. CSS a little bit behind but also filling in the gaps slowly. And CSS does manage to get a hab down west of radio station. They're going to need to try to find a way to get a secondary hab down. Let me get rid of all this map gore here for you. It's fine when you're just looking at your team, but trying to look at both teams, uh, fog creation zones are pretty pretty rough. Uh, helicopter mark down on CSS's hab, I believe. A lot of comp guys use helicopter mark for mortar strike. And here come the mortars already. Are they accurate enough? Uh, no, they're just preemptively dropping mortars. Very common place to put a hab in this compound. Uh, but there's nothing there. So it's just an early call out from SRG most likely. Toxic goes down. SRG making a... Progress on the south, pushing out CSS, and holding the north and upper orchard. Then they have one squad to push up to upper orchard. Striker is coming up to assist. Avino takes out Twix. Uh, 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 yep. He's dropped by Hobby. And SRG's pushed on the north side, starting to uh, the teeter here. Looks like they're just trying to hold them out while they uh, f SRG finishes capping uh, radio station here. Get back down to this radio station fight, see what that looks like. SRG is pushing to CS's hab. On the south side here. Mab's pushing, drops two, gets killed. Stressor pushing in, maybe getting close to the hab and the radio. SRG Stressor is on the uh, CSS hab that's going to cause some issues up there if he can get some reinforcements. Uh, one guy near him being able to push up the 3010. Let's go ahead and watch Stressor here while he runs around looking for radio. He's going to go ahead and clear the hab. Hardcore spawns in. Stressor drops him and gets some reinforcements. I don't speak a whole lot of Russian, but I'm pretty sure he just said the hab is proxied. There it goes. Alright, so CSS is going to have a hard time pushing now on radio station with no hab. CSS still has radio station or two habs near Upper Orchard, easy to defend. SRG, one squad pushing in up here. Uh, SRG managing to take the middle of the map shortly. They they may be able to wrap around and slowly start pincering off Upper Orchard up in the top corner. They just have to make sure not to overcommit to the push. They only have one person defending radio station. The rest of their team is pushed out, which is okay with the coverage they have. But it only takes one or two CSS guys to sneak in here and stop this cap. Uh, radio is being dug down. No, Hab's being dug down. 
I had a man pushing up. Stresser talking on the radio, doesn't hear Adam Man coming up. Adam Man misses the shot, Stresser gets the kill. Alright, looks like SRG took the time to dig down the hab and not the radio, even though the radio is close enough to hold proxy. Killberg pushing in. Stresser again kills another. And all that's left is Toxic able to push back to this hab. Oh, stand corrected. Grammar's pushing in. Trying to secure the hab. Let's look at the macro real quick while he's doing that. Uh, still pretty stationary. Getting this hab's priority right now for CSS. He knows at least one guy's on the radio. Should be digging him out now. Toxic's taking his time pushing up. What is, what is Grammar doing? A little confused here. Like, they know there's somebody on the radio. Alright, Grammar hears the US force on the other side of the building. Nope, he's. Huh. Alright, now it's gonna be up for Toxic to push. Radio is on bleed at this point, I believe. Toxic pushing up, Stressor hears him. Stressor finally takes a bullet. Kills Toxic though. And Grandma's gotta push in here. He doesn't have the shovel. Stressor finally goes down, takes out another. Jeez. Stressor on a rampage over here. Looking at the map here, we got SRG with a lot of the map control southwest of radio uh, station. Only one CSS left alive. Not a whole lot of rallies. CSS now respawning in mass on uh, nursery. SRG's push on the upper orchard is slowly making some ground. Uh, we got the striker up here in the north. Uh, still 100% health, trying to get some location to actually be able to shoot on the Upper Orchard. And I think Reem is the furthest one up here. Oh, MTLB is marked, so Striker is going to be trying to get in a position for that. No lats available, doesn't look like he's... Oh, I lied, here comes the US lat. Good shot, hits the engine. So MTLB is engine. You're gonna start seeing the striker pushing up here shortly, I would imagine. GL drops two. C Reem making short work of these boys. Another lat goes in after a resupply. Mortars coming in on MTLB. MTOB is now engined and tracked. Mortars have wounded the repair crewmen. Mortars kill off the repair. MTOB is now stranded. No engine, no track. SRG making progress on Upper Orchard. Looks like CSS really spawned in heavy down here in the south and trying to push east to radio station. MTOB goes down by to AK Miller's lap. And I'm pretty sure Miller just constantly kept resupplying off a rifleman there. Progress being made, mortars needed to shift back further into Upper Orchard. And that'll allow SRG to start pushing in. Looks like CSS is starting to spawn more guys in up here. Otsuki drops one, gets trades the other. Twix is down the road, Miller pushing up. Strong push up here on the north side. SRG making progress. If they keep moving up here, they'll find the radio. Padre over here, looking for a kill. Gets one.
That slows down the advance. <laughs> SRG just calls mortars in on him and decides to keep pushing. Alright, they push right past the enemy radio. Not sure what their goal is here. Maybe you get a rally point down behind them. Striker pushing up on the north side of Upper Orchard. Dangerous spot to be, but if he can look over the wall and get a few kills, it might be worth it. Yeah, but he's got a good spot here to be able to see over. Hard for uh, AT to hit him. Still has 100% health. That's going to allow SRG to get their rally down. And they may find this radio on the way back in. Yep. Rad Toss finds the radio. No. Wow. He had to run right past them. Maybe his map was open on the side of the screen and he didn't notice. That is going to be rough. Upper Warcher is going to be a lot harder to take with that radio and it's still up. Let's look at the macro here. We've got uh, CSS starting to get funneled in onto nursery SRG pushing down there with a squad SRG has a secondary squad south of upper orchard pushing north uh, collapsing uh, CSS further and further in sounds like the striker just took a hat lat round nope lat misses strikers nervous he's just gonna shoot through the walls and Hab is proxied they didn't get to this radio, right? Nope. Radio's still alive. Looks like Hello Earth may be trying to get up here to dig the radio down. Nope, he's hunting the striker. Okay. A pure body control onto Upper Orchard. Starting to dig the hab now. Aaron pushes in, drops C Ream. Can we get in a little bit closer? Nope. Aaron knows he's got the GL out. Oof. Well, Alright, that Upper Orchard Hab is coming back online. Uh, CSS has, or SRG has access to the radio. R spawning enough to rally now. Padre pushing up, maybe it'll wipe the rally. Alright, it's Nap's gonna have seen that lat come in. I think it's F2? I appreciate the follow. Oh god, what have I done? There we go. Sorry about that. Nap pushing in, drops one. He gets goes down. Voltable pushing in, drops WWW. Stops the counter push from the rally. SRG pushing in to Upper Orchard, still proxying the HAB. Upper Orchard is being capped, or has started the cap, being neutral now. Wow, I just noticed this, but SRG has got 102 kills, CSS sitting on 27. Absolute mismatch when it comes to the kill count here. Revise 36 29, pretty close, but that kill count is massive. SRG just winning the gunfights and out shooting. Uh, SRG is still digging down the ham. Yeah. Alright, Hab came back up. Mass spawn in from CSS. EMD drops. What? One, two, three, four? CSS getting back in Upper Orchard. SRD Squad 5 rally is still alive up here, but not for long. Is it F7? There we go. So, this radius is, they're saying right outside the radius to wipe this rally. Vodpa over there within meters of being able to wipe it. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm special. That is, <laughs> that's their rally. They start dropping mortars onto this hab. Enough of it's sticking out, but they should be able to get quite a few kills just dropping mortars around it. Mortars coming in just a little long. But they are dropping around it. 
So that's going to cause CSS to start being cramped into Upper Orchard. Surely they've got to see this radio, right? Sabotage running right up to it. Finally finds the radio. So SRG is going to start working on that radio. They still have the striker in for support coming in from behind, cut, trying to cut off reinforcements. Looking at the macro here, we've got SRG still making progress on the south side of Upper Orchard. Uh, SRG is still pressuring Nursery. They've managed to proxy the hab on Nursery, starting to push out CSS. I can't see anything because of amazing smoke coverage from the striker. And here come the mortars and... CSS having a lot of issues up here at Upper Orchard. They're losing Nursery as well. SRG making more progress on the south side and the north side of Nursery. South side squad of Upper Orchard has been stalled here for a while. I, I'm not sure if they are actively being aggressive or just trying to hold the middle of the map here. Uh, I, there's a hab over here. Southwest of Upper Orchard that squad 1 and 3 from SRG are managing to pressure and stop them from getting in. Striker going back probably for more ammo at this point. And CSS still getting hammered in this hab. Radio should be down a level by now. Radio is completely on bleed out, so CSS is going to have a lot of issues here. They're going to have to come in off of rallies and secondary habs. Red toss pushing in. Uh, AT goes in and takes down the roof. Yep. And the red toss gets shot from behind. Phantom and Cree TV. SRG starting to cap Upper Orchard, right? <laughs> Cree picked him up again. Finally, everyone goes down. Upper Orchard now being capped by SRG. I, I don't see CSS getting in there. Um, they've got no rally points. They got rally points so far southwest, but they're gonna have to push through multiple squads. They've got a rally point east, but they gotta push through multiple squads. So I think it's safe to say that nursery is going to be the center of attention. Uh, SRG is sitting on enemy mortars or sitting on enemy radio. It looks like right. Yep. SRG already taking out CSS hab on nursery, and CSS getting up a new secondary hab north of Monolith to defend their last point. SRG just lobbing mortars at... somewhere over here. They're hitting actually right next to the enemy hab. I'm not sure if it's intentional. Use managed to use friendly mortars to take down a Lodgy truck. Hab in the open getting nailed by mortars. Hab goes down, that's the last CSS Hab on the map. SRG is in, process in possession of Upper Orchard, pushing west towards uh, one CSS Hab. They've got a, a squad plus holding nursery with a striker supporting Twa 10, spawning in from US Main. Um, CSS pushing in here, trying to get back to nursery. It looks like the CSS used to have a rally point here where the squad six leader is. That is now down. Uh, they have a rally point here that is working on getting pushed down. KN drops one. They're going to need to get a rally point at some point. The striker's cutting them off from really being able to advance easily. Squad 10 being called out from uh, running from their US main being responded to by SRG Squad 2. A little bit of progress up here by CSS getting up to Upper Orchard. Uh, they might be trying to get back to this hab and recover it. That would give them a spawn point and allow them to keep attacking and get some um aggression going. But they're going to have to stall SRG on Upper Orchard before they have any chance of actually capturing 
So they don't stall them on Upper Orchard, they're immediately going to start capping Nursery. Fortunately, as soon as I fly away, gunshots start flying out. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at this hab push and see if uh, CSS is able to manage to successfully get this hab back. Alright, Riley Point's still in the field, still managed to stay alive somehow. Husky jumps the wall and gets Kacha. Ballsy. Husky gonna be picking up uh, Koru within an earshot of Kie something or other. Kay's gonna turn the corner. Gets killed by a rifle and a pistol. Uh, Hotski gets the kill actually. Impressive to say the least. Hello, we're shooting down the walls. Hello, Earth drops, drops Kuru. Hotski's still sitting there, he just got picked up. Black and white, hard to shoot. But I don't see Upper Orchard getting capped. Nursery is already being captured. And Squad 2 is making progress towards Monolith. Squad 6 pushing in towards the center here. Enemy radio marked? Interesting. Definitely nothing up there. Trying to see where things are going to start going wrong or right for either team. Um, you have the center push from CSS that's not making a whole lot of ground. They're having issues pushing through there. And SRG already getting up to the Monolith Hab. It's been marked on the map. I've, I've, I've got to imagine. Yep, it's been marked. And here comes Juho. Oh, Mav's going to be the first one there. Mav's got a good angle. Juho's pushing up. We got Tamogak. Mark's been holding the angle here. Can't see anything. Nice. And down goes Juho. Uh, Striker comes up, starts pro proxy. It'll be huge. Mavs down. Not 100% sure if that was a friendly fire or not. Let's go double check. Uh, yep, that was a friendly fire mortar dropping on Mavs' head. Striker coming up to hold the intersection. Oh. Oh, Striker's pulling back. Uh, SRG losing people on Nursery. Still has full control over Upper Orchard, though, so they're going to be able to cap Nursery pretty easily. Um, and this squad on the south side, they've had Squad 2, is now running into contact running it from CSS's main. And for ticket count, we've got 357 for SRG, 101 for CSS, but an absolute slaughter fest when it comes to kills. Um, got 46 kills to 196. Sorry about that. Itch in my nose. Um, yeah, SRG's got Nursery Unlock. It's going to be up to this squad from SRG. Or SRG from CSS to uh, push up. SRG's running out of bodies here. I believe they only have one guy left, and he's just went down. Nope, he's still up. It's Singo the Gaelic. He's got time to bandage. Juno pushing up here. If he's looking the right way, he might have some easy kills. I hey, appreciate the follow, Net. Juho goes down. No. Now he goes down. I don't know what that means, uh, MCR, but okay. I'll go with it. SLG running out of bodies. Uh, squad 2 looks like they're going to be respawning on their rally points when they push west. Uh, squad 1 and contingencies of 4 and 3 are pushing west from Upper Orchard and securing that function. Uh, they know what the enemy have is. They've managed to get mortars on it before. I'm not sure why uh, they just don't keep pushing on it. Seems kind of confusing. Uh, when you get to this point in the match, it's really difficult to plan for what to do here. And squad leads are starting into a lot of pub match, basically. Uh, the guys are just like, cool, send a squad here, send squads here. They're, they're on their back foot. 
just scrambling to make anything go on. Um, CSS making some progress in the south, finally gets a rally point up here. SRG not making any more progress towards Monolith, but still in the process of capping Nursery, so they've got time. Uh, they're getting up here on the north side. Strikers driving in circles and having a blast. Gonna drop one, might take out the Samir for tickets. Nope, doesn't look like it. They're gonna leave the Samir. It's got a nice high ground spot. And he's just gonna leave the Samir. Okay. SRG pushing up closer and closer, getting up to the radio. Not sure if SRG knows the radio's up there. Dr. Pepper on the rooftop. Looks like we got Koru climbing the tower. And he might get shot in the back here by Dr. Pepper if he doesn't check the roof behind him. No? Maybe not. Playing peekaboo here. Right. Looking down here, again, squad 10 still trying to push out. Squad 6 assisting from CSS, trying to get out of the nursery. MG drops 1. LZA. They know he's on the roof. Koru might jump over here and jump on his head. Jumps on his head, gets the kill. Right, coming back over, so they're gonna find the radio here shortly. SRG should be on it. Do they not? What? What is this radio placement? Uh, all right. Reem finds finds the radio. Awesome. Radio is going to be going down. Monolith is going to be very difficult to defend. They, uh, CSS does have a secondary hab down behind Monolith. SRG is starting to get that uh, traditional circling around the point, managing to slowly uh, creep back in. Alright, uh, Striker is pressuring this northern hab. Should allow the boys to start pushing in here pretty soon. Radio is going down on bleed, and SRG is going to take the north side of Monolith and start uh, getting closer and closer. Uh, during the break, I'll go ahead and turn the followers only uh, clipping. I keep forgetting to turn it off. Turned it on briefly just to piss off somebody, and I forgot to turn it back on now. Uh, anyway, Strikers pushing in. We're at 26 tickets to 406. 234 kills to 57. Um, that is rough. Mortar is now falling on to the remaining HAB location. No one from CSS actually in the HAB repairing. I'm not sure if these mortars are just spread out or whatever. Strikers driving around just absolutely having no issues whatsoever. My Discord's getting blown up. Feels bad. Alright, uh, anyway, SRG pushing it closer and closer to Monolith. And one ticket left, match almost over. Artillery coming in just for salt in the wound at this point. And there it goes. 406 tickets to zero. We'll scroll through the, the, the leaderboard here just so the guys can get it at the end.
<laughs> Alright, going through CSS aside, pretty rough. A lot of double digits in the wrong category. Uh, and then SRG double digits in the right category. So that's that's what happened there. Alright, uh, looks like we're going to take a quick five minute break here. We may be switching servers, and I'm going to go check that real quick. Thanks for watching. BRB.
All right, and we're live. Uh, SRG uh, is now on the MEA side. Wait for them to make their squads. Uh, I'm pretty sure SRG has less squads. Uh, they may be making one more here. We'll see before we make uh, our casting squad. Alright, we can still spawn in though. Get that going. What kind the of fuck is this? Um, making this video just no other team is worth so everyone hard understands. No. Oh god, Doc Hammer, no. The basics of these layers. Everyone fucking right. doubted us. We want to be able to. Uh, uh, how every layer lost operates. Raven, everyone just assumed they're gonna fuck them. I can tell you one fucking thing. Layers. We're gonna fuck them in the fuck. Importantly, I wanna fuck these guys up. How to improve your own so play as a squad leader to make games <laughs> a lot easier for yourself and your team. And every single one of you guys should be ready to win. <laughs> <laughs> Show these fucking faggots. Whoa. Whoa, no. <laughs> this is our map. And all you substitutes in here right, playing with like, us, on, you better like, play your on, fucking like... heart out. You better communicate. <laughs> I put you in here because you guys are the best. Let's go out there, boys, and let's go under, them up. Go under the, go under the trucks. Play like, like a goddamn like champion. We've been doing it all year. I've been saying it every fucking year. Play like a champion. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be away from TeamSpeak and Discord My for mistake. probably weeks now, maybe months. You're not gonna see me. Remember I'm gonna this, take fucking a step back. Whoever wants to run things, you can message me. This is the most useless thing I've ever done casting. So I'm gonna be deleting Discord. I'm just done. I'm gonna move on with my fucking life. Ref kick. I'm taking the command. What do I do, Lord? Taking my life. 50 seconds. Go, 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 go. Corrupt. These are demons. Get off the. Just like the Bible says, it's basically an intergalactic into this space through people. I'm telling you, it's what all the ancients said. It's what they warned of. It's what we're dealing with. They're demons. They're frickin' interdimensional invaders, okay? I'll just say it, make fun of me all you want. Why? Well, I cannot spell. Whatever. Don't care. None of you saw that. Not recorded. Moving on. Alright. Surely SRG YOLOs a Samir straight into the radio, right? Samir's way out in the lead. Always love watching the shit show. What is What is this? What is right. Got the. They took the uh, cornet, or the smear cornet up here. Uh, they should be able to get one shot off before anybody has a chance. So hopefully they take out an MRAP. Definitely practice that rollout. Oh. Oh, oh, recovered. Middle of good. Plan looks good. 
Not sure where they're trying to go up here. So they're gonna get on the south side. Gonna be running into enemy vehicles here. Let's get. Oh, perfect spot. Uh, logistics truck down. They managed to get off enough supply. To get their hab down at least. But that cornet worked just like it was supposed to. If he didn't spin out there, he would have got there just a smidge faster. And actually taken him out. Uh, striker up on the north side for CSS. CSS um, has bodies up on him farm. But slowly trickling in upper orchard while his, uh, SRG is gaining more and more ground. Looks like uh, CSS is going to be able to get into radio station first initially. SRG being pushed on the rally. I believe it's F7, 8. I don't know which one it is. F6. There we go. Now if CSS can get inside that ring, they'll wipe the rally. Nading. He's going to nade me too. Uh, SRG gets a nade off right onto Hello Earth's head. Gets him with the kill. Hey, thanks for the follow, Catalyst. Appreciates. And somehow, SRG's rally is not being wiped. CSS not being aggressive enough to push past it. Uh, looks like CRAM gets the kill. So Aaron is left alive pushing in. CSS just needs to get up here and wipe this rally. SRG getting more and more bodies on the radio station. Looking at the uh, macro. SRG has got one guy on Upper Orchard. They managed to get enough uh, ground to stop CSS from even pressuring Upper Orchard. And now they can full commit onto radio station. Miller goes down. Aaron's pushing up. Rally point's still in danger. CSS needs to push up in here. And CSS gets the rally. Aaron finally pushes up far enough. Hobby's going to be up here by himself. Uh, Cornet is still alive. Smear Cornet. They may be able to get that and get out with it. Hobby was trying to get that. Aaron drops him. SRG all over radio station. Uh, not a single soul from uh, CSS inbound. Uh, MTLB goes down to the striker. Not a huge surprise there. Hat kills the striker. D good trade. And you got a couple of uh, CSS guys around. Nope. Nope. I hear bandaging outside the wall. I lied. He hears bandaging, but there's no one alive. <laughs> uh, that's a mis myth. All right, CSS on the south side here, getting more ground. A uh, radio station, but SRG. Actually sitting on the point. I've already got 14 kills for CS7. Mortar starting to come down on something. Not 100% sure what that's coming down on. Alright, we're starting to get more mortars. Getting closer and closer to the hab. Looks like they were walking mortars in. Did a pretty good job. Took out their ammo box. Mortars are now dropping on top of it. Highly effective mortar barrage. Looks like uh, CSS mortars are trying to dislodge SRG from radio station. It's spreading out. Uh, on the other hand, SRG's mortars are hitting their hab. The SRG's mortars are just a smidge off. They're definitely suppressing, if not killing, plenty of CSS guys. Looking at the macro here, CSS trying to push to Upper Orchard, but a solid 300 meters out. Uh, it looks like SRG is still winning this gunfight and pushing further east and trying to get to him farm while the rest of the squads clear up the south side of radio station and push east. Mortar still dropping on this hab and all around it. Killing plenty of CSS guys. SRG making a little bit of progress here. Here's Louie. Here's your five minutes of fame. You're the reason that MCR can't play. Just saying, Louie's got a better hand. 
And it looks like SRG is just going to break off, leave the CSS to do their own thing, and start going to him farm here, at least one of the squads. Mortar's still falling around this hab. Hammer falls, pushing up. Skillless goes down. The fear getting up. Hab is now being proxied. The fear is going to probably pick up Skillless. And CSS no longer has a hab available for radio station. They're going to start pushing it from rally points to the east. Oh, MRAP over here to hit, got hit with lat. Gunner's killed on it. Kuru pushing in. Radio station is abandoned. Nobody on SRG is even near a radio station at this point. Uh, they're going to have to drop back in order to get that cap. Upper Orchard is B 40%. This hab still being proxied. Hammer falls most likely inside of digging. Yep, there you go. You can hear the shovel going. And they're going to start pushing in to the east. Friendly mortar still dropping all around. No, those are enemy mortars. There is no team kill there, right? No, oh, my lad, there it was. Alright, mortars now dropping on the CSS radio. It's under the bridge. Unlikely to actually do a whole lot of damage here. Uh, yep, radio's still up. SRG... Still nobody on radio station. They're going to get somebody back there. 77% on Upper Orchard. They need to get bodies pulled back. Start moving back th that direction. SRG is still pushing towards Hemp Farm. we got a huge uh, front line here from SRG that uh, CSS is not able to push through. Trying to see where on the map the next thing is going to happen here. This hab still being attacked. Appreciate the, the follow, Saiden Ma. We're coming down here on the south side, trying to watch these exchanges. Looks like it's going to be Reem left alive. He's wounded. To stop an entire CSS squad. Oh, he's got some support. I hear him. Miller's supporting. Miller goes down. And CSS, or SRG, managing to respawn off the... Or no, just reinforcing... Radio station being capped for SRG. T Reams pushing up. Hokas picking up medic. And more mortars come down. Very effective mortars on Aaron. Gets him wounded. Another barrage over there would help out. That was a grenade that just got thrown at Koru's body there. Mortar should be coming in shortly. It's not coming in this direction. Commissar fighting. East side of the map pretty hot. Middle. Looking back at the north over here at Hemp Farm now. And we've got a handful of SRG versus a lot of CSS. Just mass spawned on a rally. CSS has, got, got, has positioning to be able to start pushing down south. Start wiping out this SRG squad. Juno out shoots. Radio station uh, almost capped here. Him farm being pressured heavily. And this hab to the east of radio station finally goes down. Now they're going to have to push further east and drop... Another hab down south of southwest of gas station in order to push north and really cut off him farm. Looks like there's only one squad from SRG facing three from CSS. It's gonna be squad two's SRG. And they've got fourteen and eight to show for it. SRG supporting their outnumbered troops with mortars. And mortar lands right next to the entire squad spawning seconds after they spawned. Uh, that could have been bad. It actually might be CSS mortars coming in here. 72 kills for SRG versus 30 kills from CSS. 
mortars coming in, trying to uh, squash fires with the mortars, but SRG keeps moving. Uh, this one squad is just stopping a lot of CSS boys from pushing in. SRG managing to get more and more ground here uh, down here on the southeast side after they're getting reconsolidated after wiping S or CSS down. Um, radio station completely and totally undefended. Uh, CSS is not able to break through these front lines in any meaningful way to actually get caps here. This northern fight still struggling. If CSS gets aggressive, they might be able to push up to the rally that just got moved over back here behind the fields. Uh, looks like they should be able to spawn in the 30 seconds or so here. Does it actually give us a time if we get close? No. So 30 on rally. Junho is still holding this northern side. A lot of blue on the board right now. There's your first red. Gets capped by a marksman. Pushing that river is going to be pretty rough. I believe they have two marksmen covering it. Uh, nope, just, just the one here. This marksman actually pushed off to the south. SRG pushing in for south or harder to the east of radio station. Still no one defending. Pretty crazy. And slowly, SRG's pushing in. Looks like CSS has a rally point up here to the north that SRG is getting closer and closer to. Uh, Benny and Ominous should be able to get up pretty soon. A couple pro managed to get some kills there. Oop! There goes the rally. Ominous goes down as well, both get pushed, but did drop the rally. SRG managed to get more and more ground taken on this uh, CSS HAB. Twin getting some more kills. And CSS running out of places to spawn. They've got a rally point far off in the distance for squad 2. Hab is under pressure. Looking back at the north side, we see SRG finally got some another squad up here on the north to start helping, and that's instantly helped out for the push. Uh, SRG is pushing through the open field. They don't have the bodies here in the south anymore, but they're definitely making progress on the north. We got Grandma pushing up on the north side. One of the last CSS guys close to the SRG lines. Can Nap get the kill? No, Grandma's going to see him, but doesn't go for the kill immediately. Sabotage up here as well. And Grandma's going to see him as well, I believe, and they're just going to let him run past. So he just watched a squad lead and a second guy push past him. Um, needs to get this kill here. And Sabotage gets through. That's going to allow Nap to get a new rally point down north of Hemp Farm. Start pushing in from Fortis. Giving them a strong position to start moving in with the whole squad. Uh, SRG pushing in with three guys. Lord, Stresser, and Cookie. Stresser goes down, but he gets saved by Dark Cookie with the MG3. CSS still spawning into this hab east of Hemp Farm. Mortar's coming down on top of it already. And the roof should be coming off pretty shortly here. I mean, the mortar's gonna land right next to it. Just needs a couple more to take the roof off, 
A10 coming in, or Sue strike on them with the Hab, and that's gonna allow SRG to take him farm. SRG on the south side here, pushing in on this Hab as well. He has it proxy there. Got the radio, I believe, down. I don't think it's proxy. It's probably the radio. And CSS is about to lose two of their last three Habs. Sue strike comes in, annihilates the Hab. Completely gone. They do not, CSS does not have enough build to rebuild that. So SRG is going to start pushing into hemp farm now. Hemp farm hasn't started the cap yet. CSS still has got bodies. Dark Cookie goes down, gets a trade. Spunk is up. CSS mortar is coming in just outside the point. And brief silence. Let's come over here to look back at uh, SRG's push on the hab. They're digging the hab down. I thought the radio was already hit. Cheeks? No, you're right, right. no, radio's still wide open here. Um, can we, do we get to see SRG? Like, not find a radio again? Nope, CRM finds the radio again. Alright, that's going to stop CSS being having any map control on the south side. They're going to start spawning in from main and pushing towards gas station, which looks like exactly what they're doing. Uh, CSS does have a hab up here on the north side without spawning into it. They're, uh, oh, I lied. Uh, and CSS is having to re-assault to get to Hemp Farm. What troops are on Hemp Farm are going to have to hold off by themselves here for a while. CSS definitely needs to get aggressive here somehow. Uh, find a way to sneak a Lodgy through to radio station or something here. But playing on this back foot is definitely not going to get him a victory. Juno pushing up, gets the kill on Boris, and if Juno is getting into that building, he's got two drowned friends, gets WWW, Ritz pushing up to the same corner, and Britt goes down, not 100% sure what Britt was expecting there. Mortar's coming back down on the hemp farm. Hemp farm sh is being captured now. SRG managing to stop the respawn from CSS coming in from the northeast side. And get all over gas station already. CSS getting all uh, plenty of bodies on point. And it looks like squad 3 just spawned in off a... Or didn't spawn in. But just jumped off a truck. And SRG is going to start capping hemp farm. And already be in position for gas station to end this match relatively quickly. And then uh, CSS drops, loses the Matt V. 156 kills to 49 for CSS. Pretty rough overall. Revives 71 for SRG already. That is insane. We're only 15 minutes into the match here, and we've got 71 revives. So CSS is getting the kills. They're just not able to confirm it. I mean, if they had another 70 kills, this wouldn't be such a terrible spread. Mortar's coming down to help SRG's beleaguered northern squad here. Uh, hemp farm still being capped? Question mark? Yep, hemp farm still being capped. They had a few guys leave the point and they had to get somebody else back on it. Even comp teams can't keep three guys on the point sometimes. Striker coming in to help. Is there an SRG hat around? That's good enough for an engine. Let's see where the SRG hat is at. I uh, don't see him in the vicinity. He may be further east. That striker is going to be stuck there for a bit. SRG is still capturing Hemp Farm, getting more and more ground taking. This north side being pressured heavily by CSS. A couple guys from SRG is preventing that from happening. Uh, looks like 
CSS gets a second hab up to the east. It's going to be marked here pretty shortly. I got to imagine, my lord. And the striker's just having a bad day. Him farm gets stalled. Uh, they only had three guys on it. So 3010 needs to get back in there. Uh, cap going again? Maybe? Nope, cap still stalled. So 3010 just chilling here. Alright, cap's going again finally. Oh, he's like right on the edge of being outside. Looking back over here at gas station. Uh, SRG has a hab on the very first point. Uh, appreciate the raid there, Cleansman. But SRG has a hab on gas station, defending the very last point. Hemp farms being neutralized. CSS uh, throwing bodies up here in the north, getting countered pretty effectively. Coming out from their main, getting countered. Pretty much his main camped at that point. So the only option th that CSS is going to have is going to be up here in the north. They've got to get up here and got to push back into him farm. Habs in the open. That's got to be getting spotted soon. MG3 holding the road. Dark Cookie is not letting anybody come down here. And we're starting to make more and more progress. Or, SRG is making more and more progress. It looks like CSS is struggling to make, make moves anywhere. Somehow this striker is still alive. I don't know how that's happening. I'm wondering if SRG is just letting it live out of uh, sympathy. <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> they might have been able to get it with that 50. I don't know what happened there, but always fun seeing a Samir ram into a striker. Hemp farm 47% towards cap, not being captured. Now it's being captured again. Weird cap zones making it awkward. And there goes the striker finally. Hat respawns, gets up there, and finishes it off. Gas station still firmly in control of SRG. CSS trying to push back into Hemp Farm. Not making a ton of progress here. Ominous is just chilling on top of a truck, camping a hab. Gets shot inside of the head. We've got Juno, or Juho, getting shot in the back by Brit. Logistics truck goes down. More tickets off of the CSS. Get numbers cap. 62% on hemp and gas station will start directly afterwards. MCLB coming out for SRG. Total tickets here. If they come into a, a factor, it's going to be huge for SRG. Uh, I mean, they should end pretty close to 700 plus. So if we need a tiebreaker. SRG is going to have a huge ticket advantage. Mortar's coming down on enemy hab. CSS losing their hab now. Uh, west, north of uh, Hemp Farm is finally making some progress. Hemp Farm is now captured. Gas stations just aren't getting captured. Time now. There it goes. And it's up to CSS to get back to Hemp Farm somehow with 34 tickets and recap it. Or at least go for the double neutral. CSS goes down. Or focus goes down. And down goes Mido Lafoyu. CSS getting pinned down heavily in this northern hemp farm compound. Even if they manage to break loose, there's still a lot of open ground to cover. MG3 spraying down the hate. Uh, 
gas station is 65%. Oh, it just got stalled. Anything going on over there? It's just bodies. Yeah, just bodies. Nothing crazy. TSS knows they have to get onto hemp farm. It's their only choice. Mortar is coming in finally for... I assume this is SRG calling these in. Most of the CSS guys are down up here. It's a single rally. 30-10 may get close enough to pop the rally. He's, he's right outside it. So close. You could... Nope. You could do it. There we go. 3010 stops the CSS Northern push. Hemp Farm push is no longer going to be a threat. 12 tickets to watch burned out at gas stations. SRG pushing in closer and closer to CSS's hab. Making tons of progress here. 225 kills for SRG, 65 for CSS. Here's Reem. Can you find another radio? Nope, oh, Waxies should have found the radio. Did he not? Maybe they just don't care and they want the kills. Who knows? Waxy's going to get on the enemy mortar. Can't tell where he's aiming. He might be just aiming at their main. Oh, that is... That's brutal, Wax. Gotta be at their main. SRG just driving a logi truck around for shits and gigs. Yep. Those mortars are going out towards US main, just kind of smoking them out, stopping them from being able to see anything of use. And there goes the game. 344 tickets to zero. We'll scroll through the leaderboard here, and then we'll start to get things wrapped up. Uh, just absolutely tons of kills, not a whole lot of deaths, and then you get to see the opposite side: a lot of kill, a lot of deaths, not a lot of kills. A uh, ton of revives for SRG. I mean, if they had another 104 kills, that wouldn't have been an awful game. Uh, kills have been a lot closer, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, but that concludes tonight's cast. I will be casting SCS in, what, four and a half hours or so at 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, SCS, if you haven't heard about it. This is where uh, groups or clans get together, put a squad or two out, and it's clan versus clans. More of a relaxed uh, pub match with other clans from the, uh, the area. If you're interested in joining if you're in a clan, click on the link. Uh, if you're interested in joining and you're not in a clan, click on the link. Um... So, pubbies are, we normally can get them in, uh, unless we are limited on numbers, but feel free to join, say hey, i just like to play him tonight, and I'm sure we can find a squad for you. Uh, other than that, take it easy, have a good night, and don't forget to follow.